how, how would you recommend for organizations uh, to really drive that buy-in from a conservative mindset or from a, a middle management that might have that challenge? Uh, let's start to, with Sinai san Yes, uh, David, that is um, a very typical, you know, question that, that a lot of people have is because I think that's the key to move everything, you know, forward. Um, having the middle uh, management class to buy in is, is actually a challenge. Therefore, I think the continuous education is important as, um, as Steve is running um, the uh, seminar by himself, he is talking to you um, basically through the, uh, the video, but he is looking at you and you are important for part of our organization. And mm. please consider the uh, LGBTQ um, themes are also important to our team so that it becomes like not just dividing you and I, but we type of communication is important because uh, you know, everyone has different affiliation and, and not everyone feels perfectly fine alone. You know, you, you work with others and teamwork is important. So having that the message is strong message is important and the grassroots is important. And also customer, you know, customer is driving the business and they will let us know if you're not performing uh, from the direction and the uh, gap is obviously open for that and we can get good talent because of uh, we are open and also we get the good customers, you know, to shop for us. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, mm -hmm. the continued driving of message is important because it's, it is a slow process. It's, it's almost glacially slow. It mm -hmm. feels like at times things do move on, but it, it, you can't just give up and it's not just saying something once, it's continuous, right? Right, right. Um, Pride Parade. Um, I hear that some people think it's too, too festivity, you know, too much party going on. But I think it's a necessary step. You know, at the beginning, it may be perceived as a party, but uh, that's a good family gathering, parade, walking together, uh, thinking about LGBTQ together. I think that's the key. But as you said, continuation is really the, driving the result. That's great. Thank you. Yumi san, what, what uh, do you want to talk around that a little bit around the cons kind of conservative mindset? Uh, sure. Um, first of all, um, again, equal to Sanai san, uh, awareness and education is crucial, very, very crucial. Uh, in addition to the leadership, you know, set the tone kind of, um, you know, mindset. And also, uh, we have to bear in mind that the LGBT plus is uh, invisible diversity. And then, as Yutasan mentioned, uh, it's, it is said that it's eight to 10% of the total population. And then because it's invisible, it may be someone next to you working in your team. And then when you, when you say uh, like eight to 10% 10 10 of the population is almost like total population of uh, left-handed people or the total population ratio of uh, uh, Kanagawa prefecture in Japan. So it could be anyone. You have, you have left fun, hand, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. So, you know, um, we really have to make sure that, uh, you know, uh, we are aware that um, it's not like super special thing. It could be anyone. So um, set the tone from the top, as well as, you know, as the whole mindset and also uh, right up the business case of not having inclusion and having inclusion what are the risks, what are the benefits and all those things. I know it's not limited only for LGBT plus initiatives, but the entire DNI, I guess. 